So is overwhelm the new smoking? Well, smoking was bad for you, right? And then sitting was the new smoking. And now I feel like busy is the new smoking. Overwhelm is the new smoking. It's so bad for us, yet we live in this place of constantly saying, we're so busy, we're so busy, I'm so overwhelmed, I don't know how I'm gonna get it done. That is not good for your brain, my friends. I'm Jen Liddy, I'm an accountability and productivity coach. I help creative women make their ideas real. I teach them how to go from busy and overwhelmed to focused and productive. And I'm talking about this week five steps that we have to go through in order to bring our idea to life or make our goal real. The first one was yesterday and it was all about stating your desire. And I know it seems simple and kind of silly that I have to talk about that, but many, many, many people I talk to don't even say out loud the thing they want. So that's step one. But step two today is to move out of overwhelm. So this is how this looks. Somebody will say to me, I want to bring my, uh, my idea to life. I want to bring my child care center to life. I have an idea to create a child care center, right? And I have it in, all in my head. I can see it. And now, so she did, she did the first step, right? Like she said it, she spoke it, but then, oh no, I, I, I couldn't, I don't, I don't know how I, I, I'm so, I'm so exhausted by what I have going on. I have so much going on. I have so much to take care of already. I'm so busy now. How could I add anything to it? that's overwhelm. That's like muddy, messy brain talk. That's like stew upstairs in your head. We need clarity up there. We need to like strain that shit out. And the way that I like to teach people to do it is to sit down. This is a really easy strategy that I did not make up, but I use all the time. And when I have my creative women do this, they're just, they're just, they just go, oh, oh, is that it? And it's just a brain dump. It's just taking a notebook and dumping everything that's in your head because it's all swimming around out there. And it's making you crazy. It's making you feel overwhelmed. It's making you feel like you could never have the time to do what you want to do. So get rid of overwhelm by dumping everything in your brain. This is not a to-do list. No, 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 my friend. Do not take that as a to-do list. You dump your brain out and then you're like, thank you, piece of paper, for being there for me. Please hold all of my thoughts. And now my brain can relax because when I'm ready to go back, it's there. I can just relax and actually be productive. How many times do you zoom around in your brain? You're like, I know I'm supposed to remember something, but I can't remember what it was. I mean, if you had that in a place all the time where you knew that you could go back and find it, your brain would relax and you would get out of overwhelm. But one of the other things you need to stop doing is saying, I'm overwhelmed, I'm busy. How long are you gonna say that for before you do something about it? I mean, you could be in overwhelm the rest of your life. And if you're happy where you are right now, if that feels good to you, that's fine. But most of the women I talk to are so friggin' sick of being overwhelmed. They're sick of saying, oh, how are you? I'm busy. Yeah, no kidding, we're all busy. How about you move from busy to productive? You want your goals? Say it, that's the first thing. But then this second step, this is a big step. This is getting out of overwhelm and you need some tools around this. The easiest one I've got is, I mean, I've got hundreds of them, but the easiest one, the one I can share most easily is to have a notebook. And this notebook is not for anything else except your brain dumps. It's where you go and take a brain dump. You open it up, you empty out your list, and then you're like, this is important. You're like, oh, that's it? Okay. And oh, look at that. That's so silly when I write that down. I don't need to do that. And oh, this happened to me yesterday. I did a brain dump and I'm like, I could totally get Jack to do that. He's 11. He can take care of that now. And he did. He was able to do it. It just took stuff off my plate. Stop thinking you need to do everything for everybody all the time. Stop training people to think that only you can take care of this thing. If you don't stop training people to know that you'll always be there, and if you don't get out of overwhelm, that goal that you're dreaming of, it's, it's not going to come to life. This is brutal truth. I know it sucks, but aren't you tired of living in overwhelm? So reach out below and drop me a note. What are you most overwhelmed with? Is it like, is it uh, email? Is it your housework or your laundry? Is it school pickup and driving kids all over the place? What is it that overwhelms you so much? 
don't be embarrassed about it. Let's let's like figure this out. Let's like air it out and uh, and and bring some sunshine to it. Okay, so that we can get get it out and stop the overwhelm. Because that's step two. Say it out loud. What do you want? And then get out of overwhelm. I know I was kind of mean today, right? I know. Mm, okay, but we're gonna get you to your goals. It's worth it. Bye.